Whoa. This one's bigger. That's a bigger station. Maybe they just have only a part of the station there. Okay. Ah, oh, she looks fine. Yeah. The more I play, I believe she looks fine. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. Okay. Now, armor locker. I can show you what do we have. Uh, first of all, there's uh, the armors I have from the DLCs. That's the Cerberus Assault armor. Uh, none of my, not my favorite. I can tell you already that. Mainly because uh, in those armors you can't change the helmet. There's also Blood Dragon armor, armor because I'm a big Dragon Age enthusiast and I do like the games, so this one's also nice. And the final one is the Infernal armor. Far from looking good. And there's the N7. But at the moment we can only go with some... Oh yeah, I can go with Archon Vision. Recharge time of the powers 5. Chest plates. This one gives what? Increases melee damage, weapon damage and shield strength. And this one gives uh, power damage. Power damage might be better, I think. This is what? This is shield by 8, melee damage by 10. So let's go with those. Increase health by 3, and this one increases weapon damage. Shield by 3. Legs. And I won't probably change the material. Increases shield by 8, heavy weapon ammo capacity by 5. That's good. Uh, and as I said, I will leave the materials and tint uh, on, on, on the typical one. Because I like this, and I don't want to change it. And when it comes to the casual appearance, this one is too medical for me. Too casual and looking like she looks in this like she's a worker in some kind of a big uh, metal compound or whatever. This one looks too official, so we, I, I always end up with this. Let's go. Elusive man waits. Time to speak with him. That's more like it. Yeah, she. The more I look at her, I think uh, I'm getting used to her looks, and they they look fine for me. Hi there, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Commander Shepard. <sighs> Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Mm -hmm. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. We know a lot, and I need some answers, because it seems you know more. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. Well, that's your I goal. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity hmm. is up against the okay. greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? <laughs> More or less, you're not my friend. Or, yeah, I don't feel bad. You did invest a lot of things in me. A lot of money and uh, probably some cybernetics as well. I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact mm -hmm. as possible. We need Shepard. Just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. Okay. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? Tell me that. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. Is it? While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth ate its sovereign. You've seen hmm. yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Yeah. Why me? You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. I'm a symbol now, right? Humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't it's nice know to be a the symbol. Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Okay. No many anything more about the abduction? Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. 
Nobody's mm -hmm. paying attention because it's random and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why so they keep the borders. Humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Uh, that's the most possible uh, outcome. That was the yeah. I ask, asked about abductions. I asked about uh, me. Yeah, alliance. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Yeah, that was my decision. Thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. And what do you mean? Who the hell are you people? Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are yes, that will change, to to I think. Out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Ah, <sighs> fine. Have it your way. Not like I have a choice. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. <laughs> Is she? I have a shuttle she was wrong. She was wrong. Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Fine. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Hmm. More or less, we don't, we can't be picky here. <sighs> All right. What are you expecting? I like this th third option uh, because it's always uh, sort of a in the middle uh, between these two, and not only because it's uh, here in this uh, part, but it has this tone in it. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? Okay. I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Mm-hmm. Fine. Well, that went well. Mm, I haven't done this dialogue this way, I think. I always ask them about the things, people, you know. You there, Icy Queen. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Hmm. Just remember who's in charge. Uh, the best is not enough. You sound kind of jealous. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. Yeah, there's a problem here, and we know it. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. Okay. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Hmm, fine. What do you know about the mission? Let's stick to the formal stuff. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average okay. in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. <sighs> Good. She doesn't... She, she seems like a person who doesn't dwell on stuff and doesn't... <sighs> guess. You know. What might happen? What was all this about? No. She's a person who who deals with action, like the Lazarus Project, so there's no point, in my opinion, to ask her about what we will find there, since she really said this place was very average. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. Mm -hmm. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. Who? Oh, what do you mean? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip, but the elusive man wouldn't allow it. Oh, he was afraid it might I'm affect your personality for or that. to your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any yes, way. Yes, that's, that's the line I wanted. I'm glad he wasn't charged then. I'd say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Alright. Miranda. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? Mm -hmm. I can crush a mech with my biotics, or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, training then. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No, the elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. 
Fine. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Yeah, that's that's exactly the line that gives you a clear vision of who she is. I'm glad the elusive this man guy convinced is you to join more, us. This guy is much more uh, agreeable, at least when it comes to the talking. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. Yes. But you're still not convinced. I will Can never be. Me, Commander? No, I don't trust you. I don't trust any of you. You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. Do you know anything about the mission? Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> Tell me about the Alliance. Why you, you have you served in the Alliance? Served there? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. And that is? Never heard of it? I've never heard of the Corsairs. <laughs> I remember the Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still <laughs> enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Okay, and then you joined Cerberus, right? Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So hmm. much of what we did in difference. the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus hmm. is different. When colonies go missing, then we have a problem. We don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's you look like now. a nice guy. Yes, ma'am. And later on, a possible romance in, in a romance guy. He's a romance option, but I won't romance this man. Right. That's a quick save. Uh, and that would be enough for this recording. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll probably record in a moment the second episode, because I do want to do it. Uh, we'll do Freedom's Progress. And for now, thank you for, for your time and your attention. Uh, as always, if you have any kind of input, any kind of uh, comments you'd like to share, uh, if you have uh, suggestions, how should I play her, how should we play with either Jacob or Miranda, feel free to leave them down and uh, feel free to check other projects. At the moment we have one other LP going, Baldur's Gate 2. Uh, the Let's Plays are now dominated by Bioware but that will possibly change in the coming year. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.